Oh, fucking stupid ant. Oh. Mm. Mm. Whatever. I'll let him live for now. Howdy, everyone. Guess who's back? It's me. First of all, I wanted to apologize for my voice. I know I sound kind of weird. My throat's a little screwy at the moment. And it kind of hurts to breathe right now because my abdomen is really swollen. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update that I did have my surgery on Wednesday, April 26th. Uh, the surgery was at noon. It lasted about four hours. Everything went really well according to the surgeon, but uh, I feel like shit. I got back from the hospital on Saturday around like 1 p.m. and I am in the most pain I have ever been in in my entire life. This literally sucks. But therein lies the joys of surgery recovery and all that crap. So I just gotta get through these next couple weeks or so and hopefully I'll start to feel a little bit better as each day goes on. But y'all right now, let me tell you something, it does not feel good. So I just wanted to update everyone, let y'all know that I am indeed alive. The name of the surgery, now that I actually finally know what it's called, it was an iliocolic resection surgery where the doctor removed part of my ilium. He also removed part of my small bowel. Uh, in total, he removed seven inches, which in all honesty, considering how much intestine you have, that's really not that much, but it can take a long time for your body to relearn how to work with what it's got. So my body is gonna be having a lot of learning to do these next coming months, obviously, because your body has to then learn how to work with less tubing, so to speak. So yeah, uh, pardon my nasty, ho I call it my hospital goo. I just, I have, every time I'm in the hospital, I have the hardest time getting this stuff off. Like I had an IV here, I had an IV here, I got blood drawn here and stuff going through here. So I just can never, I can never get this crap off. So whatever, it'll come off in due time. But anyways, I'm alive. I made it through. I'm just in excruciating pain. Um, I have actually been eating pretty well. I haven't been eating much, but I've been eating okay. I mean, I mostly just been having like peanut butter and Cheetos and sweet potatoes, but you know, it's more than I was eating before my surgery because before my surgery, I wasn't really eating much of anything because it just hurt to eat anything and everything. <sighs> Akima's in here with me. She has to be near me. Obviously, she's a dog. She knows I'm sick. She knows I'm not feeling well, so. But yeah, uh, if you guys wanted, I figured I would do a little show and tell and show y'all my incisions. <laughs> so let me show y'all what I'm working with. And if you're not into scars and all that stuff, then just cover your eyes. I'll let you know when this part's over. Although, man the fuck up. It's really not that gross. Woo! Show and tell time. All right, so I've actually got four incisions. Um, I have one here above my belly button. This long dude right here. One here by my tattoo. And then this one down here. Uh, he actually took my intestines out through this one here. And the rest were just like holes that he went through. Uh, it was a robotic surgery done laparoscopically, which is pretty cool. So I get to tell people for the rest of my life that I had surgery done by a robot, which I think is fucking awesome. Now, I, I, I wish it kind of turned me into a robot myself and then I could be like heart terminator or something. But but unfortunately that's not the case. But yeah, everything was pretty standard. I went to the hospital really early Wednesday morning to get my pre-op stuff done. I'll, over here, I'll put a picture of Seth with me while I was in pre-op. Everything went pretty smoothly. It, it moved along really fast, but I gotta say from Wednesday at like four o'clock when I got out of surgery until literally like Saturday morning, everything was just one giant hallucination. I was so fucked up. I was really feeling the effects of the anesthesia for a majority of the time. I was doped up on so many pain meds. Uh, I still am. <laughs> um, unfortunately now, the pain meds that they gave me to take home, they're not really working as well as I was hoping they would. Hence my excruciating, endless pain that I've been in. But, you know, I'll get used to it. It'll get better as time goes on. I just gotta kind of get through it now and just take it slow, take it easy. But yeah, it really sucked not being able to like do anything for those couple days. I know it wasn't even really that long. I was actually out of the hospital a lot sooner than I thought I would be, uh, which is good, but it also made me kind of anxious when I left because I was out of the care of my nurses and doctors and now I'm like on my own in the great blue yonder. 
It's a little intimidating trying to live everyday life in so much pain and I can't really do much of anything by myself at the moment. I have to have Seth help me with everything uh, and he's been a great help. My parents flew down for the surgery and they were awesome as well. Which brings me to this portion of my video. I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for all your kind words, all your support, all your well wishes. I was finally like cognitive and able to read everything. I was reading everybody's comments and everybody's messages and it really just means so much to me to have all this support from everyone, even from complete strangers. I just think that's so awesome and I love that about the internet that you can just like reach out to people and I think it's great. I love it. I honestly think that if I didn't have the support from everybody that I have now, I would be in a lot worse shape. Some people have asked me how I've been able to stay so positive and it's honestly because I've, I know that no matter what happens, I've got the best support in the world and that really carries you a long way. You'd be so surprised how much that alone helps you in the healing process. So again, thank you so much everyone. Your words have not gone unnoticed, trust me. So I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Crohn's disease, but obviously this is not a cure. It is simply just a treatment. This surgery is known to put people into remission for many, many years, which I hope it does for me, uh, but the disease could still pop back up anywhere else in my gastrointestinal system. I could start exhibiting signs of disease in my mouth, which the thought of that really freaks me out, but I'm obviously not thinking about that. But the hope is that since he removed that extremely diseased portion of intestine and maintaining my medicine treatment that I do every eight weeks, uh, that I will be in much better shape, I will get to and stay in remission, and I will just feel better in life. I'll be able to eat and drink, you know, not necessarily alcoholic beverages, but you know, like just drinking water even. I will be able to eat and drink and finally not experience excruciating pain after everything that I eat and drink. I mean, uh, of course it'll take a while to get there. I just had my damn belly cut open and fucking body parts were taken out of me and sewed back together. And so it's gonna take a while to feel better and I'm aware of that. I gotta maintain patience but I'm on the right path to feeling better now and that's what matters. But yeah, like I said in my first vlog video, I, I do have some pre-recorded cooking tutorials that I will be editing and posting while I'm kind of still recovering because like honestly, it hurts to sit, it hurts to stand, it hurts to talk. I have been taking many breaks while I have been filming this just to give myself a breather. So I am not in any physical position yet to cook and film elaborate meals, but I will get there eventually. So that's why I have these other videos that I will just pew, 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 pew out to you guys while I am waiting to feel better. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. I just wanted to give everyone a little update, give y'all a little belly tour, and let everyone know that I appreciate your well wishes and your kind words so, so, so much. But yeah, that's about it from me. I hope that everyone else is doing well. So y'all better brace yourselves because the vulgar queen is back. Bing! And as always, I don't know what time you're watching. So have a good morning, good day, good night, and goodbye. Y'all, I know I have mentioned in the past how much I love Old Bay and check out this shirt. Old Bay, mm-hmm, you see, you see? Let me see if I can do a little spin for you and show you the back. Oh, oh, it hurts. Can you see it? Maryland pride, y'all. All right. That's it from me. I need to take a fucking nap. <laughs>